Yeah, yo, it's your boy Johnny X, you know. I'm from Northside, Minneapolis. If I introduce myself to a stranger, I'll go up to him, be like, you know, be like, hey, how you doing? Name's John, Johnny. I'm an artist, you know, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Check out some of my music. Got it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, anywhere you could anywhere you could find it, I'm there. Yeah, yes, sir. Promote myself everywhere. Yo. Man, 507, my boy Young Vato. Shout out Young Vato. He put me on, and uh, I seen y'all on the gram, man. I liked what y'all got going on. Y'all got a whole little vibe set up here with the whole local artists and everything, you know, so I thought I'd come put my little thing in, you know. Last meal, that that uh, Chipotle had to go fuck with that new brisket. <laughs> the brisket, I, I, I don't put no beans because I don't, you know, I don't, I, don't really, I don't really do the beans, but, you know, we do the white rice, got to throw some fajitas in there, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, since the first time I had the brisket, I got to go double on the brisket. You know, double meat. Double meat on the brisket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, a little, little pico, a little green sauce. I can't do the red. A uh, creative project as a kid. Uh, I can't really think of, like, any arts and crafts stuff. But when, uh, like, when, like, when jerking was a thing, <laughs> like, back, back when jerking was a thing, me, me and the guys, we, like, did a performance. We we performed, like, eighth grade, like, on the stage and shit. So that shit was pretty dope. Got to be Wiz. If if Wiz, man, Wiz got me through so much shit, so much shit I was just going through in high school and just, like, emotionally and just, just a bunch of shit. If if Wiz ain't make it as an artist, I don't think I'd have even got into music. Uh, I don't, I don't really get stage fright no more, but when I did my first show, I kind of I kind of had stage fright a little bit but the most of the most of the crowd was like people I knew and people I was comfortable around you know so I just I felt comfortable and in that environment so whenever I go back on the stage I just kind of re recreate that setting in my mind yeah it was right man it was just lit had a good time I love going on stage I love performing that's my that's my favorite part about the music process performing uh I mean man I just you know just be yourself don't be scared to get out the box, you know, don't be scared to do, try different stuff and, you know, try stuff people ain't doing. 60 minutes, it'd probably be a, it'd probably be a lot of different stuff. An hour, I don't really particularly try to stick to one style or one flow. I try to switch it up, be real versatile with it, try new things, you know. So it'd probably, it'd probably sound like me. It's just basically be the story of my life, different aspects of my life, and I just, different creative activities I use mm -hmm. yeah but I mean I got a lot of music out in my catalog on SoundCloud I got a couple mixtapes I got an album I just dropped October 1st that's all on there I mean it says everything about me in there man 70 <laughs> 70 I gotta be on a boat fishing with a beer and a J in my hand <laughs> making music I mean 70 I'd probably be one, you know, just like a little instrument, a little guitar or something, but I don't know about like performing, but I definitely still, you know, the love for music is always there. Like, you know, I love music. That's my life. Oh yeah. I need, I need kids, kids, family. Yeah. That's all on the way though, but that's, that's soon to come. Something I struggle with to this day, uh, I gotta say, uh, sometimes like writing, sometimes I get periods when I get writer's block. And uh, it's it sucks getting over the writer's block. I think that's something I still kind of struggle with. Uh, man, when I get to get through writer's block, I just need to hear like the right beat. It has to be like the right beat, the vibe, just to put me back in that mode. Like, and then, and then I'll be back there. But no, I still struggle with writer's block a lot. Like, it still comes and kicks me after a minute. After I could do like a whole project of music, but then I'll get so focused on that project, and I'll try to write something new, and it'd be hard for me to start something new. That's a tough one. Uh, alive, I say it had to be. Mm, man, it had to be Trav, bro. Got to be Travis Scott. Yeah, got Trav too lit. Got to be my boy Travis Scott. Shout out Travis Scott. Deb, definitely be uh, man, definitely be Juice. R. P. Juice. Yeah, yeah, he inspired me a lot. Got me through some shit. Yep, for sure. Past Johnny. Yeah, past Johnny to last Johnny. We from the seventies, baby. Old hippie, old hippie band t bandana tie, guitar in my hand. Yep, at at Woodstock, rocking it. Uh, just like you know, like when we was in high school, we just that was kind of like the vibe we had. We was like, you know, 
oh, oh, we from the 70s, you know, we hippies, like this hippie lifestyle we live. Most place I'm comfortable creating is definitely at the O, at, Win- at Winter Wonderland with my boy Nick. Yeah, my boy Nicky. Man, it's it's an incredible vibe, you know, the the people's right is just, it's a dope vibe. You got to go there to experience. I can't even explain it. But the the most common place I write and do my music is when I'm in the truck at work. <laughs> Yeah, that's where I get most of my writing done. Nah, I, I type it in my notes, but most of the time I won't even type in my notes. I like try to like type it in my head and get it like stamped in my head. Cause when you go into the studio and you try to read it off your phone out of paper, it kind of sounds like you reading it like into the mic. But if you got that shit locked into your head, you could just turn it up however you want to and create it however you want to. Uh, we got we got a lot of stuff on the way. You know, it's F it's FYG the label. We uh we got like uh. We got like six, seven artists. All we all working, so we all got music on the way. We got a collab tape on the way. Uh, I think everyone got singles on the way. It's it's a lot on the way. Just just you know, go su- subscribe. Fyg the label on uh, YouTube. Uh, recently I just dropped my first like album album, Eternal Rose. Yep, and that's on all DSPs. That's everywhere. And man, it it's it did way better than I thought, you know, than what I could even imagine, you know, my last project before that, I think, total over all the platforms, it did like 7k, 7k streams, but right now, Eternal Rose, we, we sitting at 70k, it's 70k streams, shout out y'all, I love y'all, yeah, shout out the fans, uh, hey, shout out, shout out Two Tome and Trendsetter Music, you know, shout out Mailbox Money, that's the hoodie, you know, this one, I don't even think he said this style's out yet, this colorway not out yet, but you know, it's, it's yeah, exclusive. It's all on the way though. Mailbox money. Make sure y'all go follow that. Yep. And I want to. Sh- yep. Shout shout out my whole label. F Y G the label. Shout out F Y G Huncho. Shout out Young Solite. F Y G Khalil. F Y G River. Shout out my boy Rico. We all got stuff on the way. It's all going up, man.